All right. <clears throat> I'm still feeling a little sick, but I'm getting better. Uh, which means that just some updates real quick. I'm going to get back to working on the System Shock 2 videos. So I'm going to get back to writing uh, the script for that. And then uh, I'm just going to start getting videos out again. You know, editing streams. If they're funny enough, I'll edit them and upload them to the main channel. But they have to be funny. Uh, that's pretty much it for like any kind of updates so uh today we're playing some pathologic classic hd i don't know anything about the game it was like one dollar fifty cents on steam it was on sale and um i i was reading like the reviews and stuff and it's like this game's amazing like this has over i think it has overwhelmingly positive reviews no it just has very positive reviews it's an old game so i'm down for that but apparently this game is really cool so i don't know i'll have to give it a try here uh i don't i guess it's it's probably gonna be similar to like i guess thief but with rpg on it I, I i don't know what it's gonna be about so yeah it's pretty epic so i guess i'm just gonna start it now because fuck off uh okay starting game now i forgot i was gonna stream earlier today and that's my fault because i randomly decided to try to stream earlier today were those just rats was that just a bunch of rats that, like, I, I can't even comprehend what I just fucking saw. What the hell was that? Hi, Popa. Allow me to remind you that an epidemic of unknown origin has already eradicated a few genuinely distinctive towns in the northern part of the country. The cause and circumstances of these tragic events remain uncertain. There is a lot that we cannot explain yet. It appears as though the plague has a mind of its own, as if it is driven by some irrepressible will. Why else has no one managed to fight it successfully? Why does it target the most precious aspects of our existence? The sand plague picks its victims fastidiously, and the same principle always draws it back to whoever tries to oppose it. Surprisingly, we've yet to hear a single word from the powers that be. Is the audio good? Please let me know. Oh my god. Yo, it's it's Silent Hill 2! Like, if I talk right now, can you hear me, like, properly, or is the audio still, like, overpowering my voice? Okay. My voice is louder. Dude. That was- that was the peak amount of views I've had in the past two weeks. Three viewers. Dude, we're fucking booming right now. Even, like, uh, off, like, is that- is that honor? Okay, that's fine. Like, fucking out of summer? That's pretty good. I'm just saying right now. We did- we did good there for, like, a good six minutes. Alright, so this is a new game. Wherever have you come from? No. No. What the hell? I detest trickery. But if we oh, are so what, what's, to oh my god, my mom. our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, where am I? Why am I here? Things are already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles right here. What a silly place. It's 
stuff. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Does this look like a Half-Life mod? Because every game in like 2001 looked like a Half-Life mod. Just like how Half-Life looked like a Quake mod because it was. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. What is this like I can do lunatic talking about? Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers and justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo at Hibe. Don't you go all bossy on me. A <laughs> bossy? You will act justly, but your justice will blind you and become his dem- Oh my god, what? No, wait. What? Okay, so this is the intro. Wait, hold on. That's the- okay. There's some shit that we need to figure out first of all. Let's bring the voices up. Um... Is there any way to turn on, like, subtitles? There's just no subtitles. Okay. Well, sorry about that. I actually wanted to hear this. I didn't know that was gonna happen. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are- The first guy looks like Walter Jr. Hold on, hold on. Let's- let's hear this again. Let's actually focus. Let's listen. Of him. This must be one of the ventricles right here. What a silly place. It's stuck. Oh my god. So it's She's like walking weird. I don't think it has started yet. Dude, this voice acting is spectacular, by the way. We need to perform sectio transversalis. Yeah, that's a word. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. She's moving in like slow. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? Why is she walking so weird? Whatever happens, I will find answers. And justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo. What the fuck? Don't you go all bossy on me, clever. Bossy. Folks. You will act justly, but your justice will blind you and become Hi. demise. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Hi. Is there a zoom button? Is there a zoom? Uh no. God damn it. I want to zoom into her face. Look at her. Your gentle hands are used to killing, not giving. Your gentle hands. She even talks like she's like in slow motion. Neither of you knows compassion. Yes. It seems unlikely that we'll get along well. But there's only How is she a thief if she walks this slow? As long as it's willed. That's the truth. Like, she is so fucking slow, I'm surprised she can steal anything. Stop thinking about yourselves. Think of the sick. He's in pain. I can't see it yet. God damn it. These are invisible glass. I'm, I'm like banging my head against glass right now. I can see that. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. I can hear it. It can be healed rather than killed. You mean you won't become a killer? But you will. Mark my words. She sounds like she's about to laugh. What will happen? But I can avoid it. No. We'll never get along. I suggest we be on our way. There's emo boy. Off we go then. Emo redditor. The clock is ticking. Let's go. The Clock is ticking. Oh. 
They were trying to- they were actually performing a play. They were practicing. Uh... That's why. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> it is Walter Jr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let me read this. The Bachelor. The history of humanity witnessed a number of catastrophes that have de demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt the pettiness of human achievement and the triumph of the invincible evil. Outbreaks of infectious diseases that have from time to time wiped town and cities off the map are undoubtedly among those. However, smart and virtuous, the people caught up in in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that it is no use to try to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite the bullet and cope and seethe with your losses. Uh, this is the story of a person who has managed to work a miracle and defeat seemingly unvanquishable foe. The Horus Pex. What is this? Walter Jr. coping. I kind of like Walter Jr. How do they call upon the Menku, uh, the faithful in of a warden kin, known by their hands for their, uh, they are butchers, known by their eyes for they are surgeons. They who follow the lines, they who are the leaders of the kin, they who speak to a dirge. I don't, I don't, that's not a word. A dirgs. Um. Uders? Uders? I d What the fuck is that word? They who know the secret art of Haru Spicy. What is a Haru Pet? Haru Specs? Reading the future and the entrails, he knows that a body bears semblance to the universe. His scalpel follows the lines of the body. His steps uh, follow the lines of his kin's fortune. Okay, so a bunch of bullshit. And then this is a fortune teller. This character is only unlocked after you finish the bachelor's or the other guy's story. The changeling. We're gonna play as Walter Jr. Because I like him. Daniel Dankowski. A Bachelor of Medicine was brought here by circumstances most unfortunate. Dankowski's life work, his theory challenging the existing notions of human mortality, is being harshly persecuted by the powers that be. Suddenly, a letter arrives from a colleague suggesting that there is previous undiscovered evidence which may support Dankowski's claims. There is a settlement, the letter says, ruled by an extraordinary man who may well be seen as objective proof of Dankowski's daring hypothesis. Grasping at straws of hope, Dankowski decides to follow what he believes to be the sign of divine providence. Without further ado, he sets off for the settlement. Late at night, Bachelor arrives in the town. As he seeks room and board, he gets to know a girl called Eva Yan, and stays at her place till dawn. I thought you played as a detective in this. Yo, same. Oh my god! What the fuck? Walter. Put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you, Walter. I always feel like for games like these, I need to have like a really shitty microphone, but... Huh? 
Look at these Fallout 2 animations. Watch there be like a girl like crying. Oh. Those are long fingers. Red eyes. This game's old, okay? E even though these are supposed to be updated models. I think I can see the pixels on the screen. Whoa. Ew. <laughs> Hi. It's the face that she's making. Whoa. That's me. Okay. Mission. As of today, my mission remains obscure. The examination of Simon Kane, who is rumored to be a man of incredible longevity, may shake the vi um, the very foundation of modern thanatology and challenge the existent uh, the existent notions of death itself. However, even if this undying uh, levi leviathan there we go undying leviathan proves to be more than a fairy tale, the mere confirmation of his existence won't suffice to prevent the powers that be from shutting our laboratory down. I need to figure out the most fruitful approach. Simon is a well-respected man, and if he mistakes my interests for infrontery, uh, it would be nigh impossible to convince him to help me break new ground in the field of human vitality. Based. Walter's out here kind of being a little quirky, though. Okay, so I guess I had to escape to exit this. Correct. Day one. By the end of which, uh, the Bachelor finds himself battling a truly unvanquishable foe. There's a lot of motion blur in this one. Okay. So. Before we do anything crazy. I'm gonna read the store page on Steam for this game. Because I feel like it's important. So then you understand the concept of how this game works. So then it's really, uh, really interesting. This music goes off, though. Okay, the original indie cult classic returns fully restored and more evoca evocative um, than ever. Pathologic Classic HD is, is the definitive edition of the original cult classic Pathological First Person Survival Game. The game represents a unique and unforgettable experience as it transports the player in a weird town which crouches ominous um, in the far reaches of an ancient steppe. Uh, it was once a small drover settlement, huddled around a monstrous abattoir. But something about the butchery, uh, it, something about the butchery, it was near, uh, has changed it. It has developed an odd social structure over the course of several generations. It could have quietly continued along its weird way, but s a sudden outbreak of an unknown and inevitably lethal disease has, uh, decimated the citizens prayers did not help science did not help so finally they have turned to the outsiders for help three of them enter the town to help uh of hope of finding a cure or failing that an explanation the first outsider was a ruthless investigator assigned by local authorities which i don't know who the fuck that is um the second is a far-sighted ripper who has his extraordinary abilities gave a reputation as an ingenious surgeon, so I guess we're playing as the ruthless investigator, um, who has come to town in search of his father's terrible heritage. The third and last outside um, outsider is an eccentric girl rumored to have mystic healing abilities. She may become the town's salvation if it were not the constant fear that plagues her, the memory of the horrors of her recent past. On the surface, Pathologic is a first-person horror adventure game where you control one of three heroes. Dig deeper, however, and you'll find an experience that will affect your emotional, emotional and psychological state. In the world of Pathologic, you'll find yourself in situations where morals and good deeds are meaningless in the face of raw despair and endless need. 
talk to denizens of the town and decide for yourself if you wish to ease someone else's pain or save every bit of precious medicine to protect yourself from the invisible and inexorable, inexorable plague. Become witness to the ma the miasma of horror as the plague begins to overcome the town. Uh, new enhancements. They have brand new in-house English script. So this game wasn't even English originally. For the first time ever, the game has cast off the major issues that had previously disallowed international audiences from accessing it. Brand new voice act, uh, voiceovers, sorry, not voice actors. Uh, new content. This one isn't even, like, bolded or anything. I guess they... No, I guess it is. Never mind. New content. A certain amount of text that had previously been cut from the international version of the game have now been restored. Updated textures and higher resolution support. New visual effects. Newly included fan-made Polish translations. So the Polish, you know, those fucking femboys uh, can actually play the game. Thanks to the hardworking generosity of Jacob Durdziak and Aldona Durdziak. An Italian translation, kindly donated to us by one of the original translators of the game, Stefano Gaburi and Claudio Todeschini. Todeschini. Uh, game features, an indie cult classic that's not really a feature. Um, 12 days in a plague-ridden town. Time is running, and mostly is it's running out. Numerous events unfold, whether you are there to witness them or not. 70 plus hours of real-time gameplay without grinding or repetitive quests. As time goes by, more and more things happen, inviting you to participate and change the course of the events. Three playable characters and three unique storylines. The Bachelors, the yo 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 yo, interconnected, but every side um, has their own story and unique quests and events and stuff like that. Plot, critically acclaimed, open world, survival, communicate, barter, job, rob, or steal, the atmosphere is bleakless, uh, of bleakness and despair, yada yada yada, okay, we get it, okay. That was a lot, let me check the controls because it seems like the game doesn't even have a tutorial, I thought it would, that would have been helpful. So jump is space, E is use, torch is F, we're gonna, new, okay, plague finder is V, attack is left mouse. Alt attack is right mouse. Show slash hide hands is tab. Okay, sneak is left shift. Yep. Reload is R. I is inventory. Okay. Map is M. Diary is Q. Letters are L. Character status is P. You got new emotes. That's awesome. I, yeah, I, since I got sick, I haven't had the time to work, uh, make more. Um, only one of them was made by, uh, was made by, you know them as EQ. You know Ikumaru. They made one of them. They made my profile picture for the channel and the one of the emotes. The other two are made by me. I will probably have to commission Iku to make more if I feel you know since I have a job now. I'm probably gonna have them um, co commission them to make the two emotes I made and make them better. Obviously. Uh, but if they if they're fine, then I'll go ahead and keep them as they are. But yeah, I'm I'm slowly making them. I just need to figure out which ones I want to do, so then they're worth it. I want to actually make emotes that are worth getting, you know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. So here's our character. There's Walta. Walta Junior. Flint. Walta. Would you dig away, Walta? I can't pick things up, like, this isn't, like, amnesia or anything. I can't really search that. Okay. Whoa. Hold up. Okay, so this is a chest that I can open. Okay. This is my bed. Okay, so I can sleep here. So this is my house. So this is- I can live here. Okay. So, I live here. This is my place. It's, uh, kind of a little depressing. I don't know where to- oh, here. Okay, well, I'll- I'll, uh, I'll remember that. What is that house layout? Um, Latin America. I don't know. Like, this is how British people live, I think. There's my hookah pipe. 
uh, machine thing, I think. <laughs> it looks like a hookah thing. Uh, that's, there's just a... Okay. Uh, hello? I had a feeling you would come. Did the sounds from the outside wake you up too? There was a terrible groan, and then something snapped loudly. I fell asleep so quickly I didn't even notice. It's like I fainted. So, so what sounds are you talking about? It's me. Uh, I think there are strangers in the backyard by the pond. They're you unlikely to be planning mischief. Uh, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm afraid uh, to go out uh, to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. Uh, why do you think they aren't planning anything foul? I'd like to thank you for your hospitality, uh, for board and bed. I sincerely hope you have everything you need, because I'm ha uh, very happy to have you here. Danil, is it? Could you please tell me, uh, where your ruler, Simon, uh, Kane lives? Are you willing to trade the company of a fascinated woman for that of a dreadful old man, even if he is a sorcerer? That's so sad. But Simon won't go anywhere. He is. He has always been. He always will be. Even if the moon were to fall to the ground, please stay with me a little while longer. I couldn't even imagine the hospitality here. Uh, but who was waiting for me? I didn't notify old Burka or Burak uh, of my arrival. I'm not even sure uh, what made me take off for this place. Simon this is a sorcerer. Uh, did I hear that right? Is that secret to his longevity? Are you in that much of a hurry? Do you come around? What the fuck? What is this conversation? Uh, do you come round? Uh, the canes are asleep now. Take your knockabout coat off. Um, have a rest in my bed. Let me warm your hands. Uh, you are so anxious to see Simon as though life depended on it. My life, yes. Now that my laboratory is on the brink of destruction, my whole life's pursuit depends on that remarkable man. If he is, uh... If he has really managed to live that long, then his tissues will help me defeat death. Death. So that's the enemy you've chosen for yourself. Isn't it hard? Uh, I don't think anyone has managed to defeat that evil yet. Millions of doctors defeated it on a certain singular occasions, but my enemy is more fearsome. It is death itself rather than the singular case of death. My enemy is inevitability. I am challenging the forces of nature. Damn. I don't understand. I can barely understand it myself. Could death only seem inevitable to us, but in reality be nothing more than a whim <laughs> of the will that had shaped this world? That is the that is the question. So where is my key to victory? Dude, this guy sounds like he fucking listens to, like, <laughs> the edgiest fucking music. He probably listens to Blade. <laughs> He's so emo. <laughs> it's not far. The Canes live in the cr at the Crucible on the Bridge Square, but I could pl uh, please offer you a piece of advice. Go on. Ty Simon has two younger brothers, the eldest of the two, Gregory, uh, is uh, called the judge by the locals. Visit him first. He isn't asleep. He'll teach you how to speak with Simon. The youngest of the three is Victor. His daughter, Maria, also wanted to see you. It's probably important. So I need to find Gregory. Gregory. He's the judge. Visit him first. Okay. Was uh was it she who knew about my arrival beforehand? Yes. Told me about it privately. Talking to her is no simple task. Maria is that kind of person. She puts on airs, but that's just how the canes are. Uh, it was Maria who told me that she, uh, she would help you defeat death. That's the precise wording. What a coincidence. All right, thank you for the advice. Go, 
I'll prepare everything for you for your return. Do come back after you speak to the Canes. They will probably do a lot of things that will puzzle you and put you on guard. I will have some advice that may help you if you need it. I'm unlikely to stay here for long, Eva. I will depart after speaking to Simon, with or without him. Okay, I'll come back. Oh, put it, put it on the map. Okay, so where am I? Where's the legend? Is this me? So this is... So wait, is this me? This is Stillwater Eva Jan's house? Okay. This mansion called Stillwater belongs to a single girl called Eva. An accidental midnight encounter provided me with a lovely companion and temporary, temporary lodging. So that's where I am. We need to go to here. The Crucible... Okay, the Crucible. The man... In the mansion of Maria Kane, uh, Kana, Victor Kane's daughter. Okay. Crucible. So we need to go here. Simon Kane is the main um, improper. Okay, so we need to go over here. Talk to Simon first. Right? Did she say Simon? No, no. Of Gregory Kane. Simon Kane's brother. Okay, so yeah, we need to come here. This is where Gregory is. Gregory. And then this is where, what her name is. And then we need to find wherever the fuck Simon is. I guess Simon would be there. This is, uh... This is a big map. I think. It might actually not be that big. What is this thing? These are... Images of items. Okay. I will keep note of that. Can I search through your stuff? This is a bed. I don't think I want to sleep in her bed. I'm gonna go now. I am off. Adventure awaits. Uh. Who the fuck are you? A shraggy... A tragedian. Trag tragedian. This looks like a profile picture people would use in 2023. Venerable bachelor. Please be so kind as to linger for a minute. This conversation won't take too much of your time. Especially since time stops during dialogues. At least during the important ones. And our dialogue is extremely important. You need to know how to play after all, don't you? Play? What are you talking about, Mask Man? I'm neither a gambler nor an actor. Of course you aren't. You are a living, breathing man, as is evident by your conditions and statuses. You experience hunger, thirst, and fatigue. You suffer from pain, wounds, and diseases. You're so lifelike. You have to eat, drink, sleep, and rest, and make mistakes. The latter being the most definitive proof of my human nature, wouldn't you agree? If I may, I would like to point out just how important to keep an eye on your condition. If you get dizzy or unnaturally sluggish, do have it checked up. Vital processes tend to run faster during emergencies than in everyday life. I knew a person who died of stress, but it was diagnosed with starvation. It happens, uh, I can testify to that as a doctor. I need to remind a wise man like you of the fact that hunger is sated by, s sated by food. Uh, food can be found in shops, and shops can be found in ordinary houses that are marked with a specific sign. Sleep, however, is more complicated. People only sleep in beds, and only in private residences around here. I'm sorry, but that's just how our world is. Yes, the world is unjust. Uh, <clears throat> and quite silly if you forgive me for saying so. Speaking of co commerce, different shops sell similar items at different prices. Make sure you don't get cheated. People can be quite brazen around here. You can also barter with the folk out in the street. Some things may be uh, nothing more than trinkets to you, but others will be willing to part with their life's blood for them. 
Blood? Yes, blood. It's not my place to lecture you, but if, following your Hippocratic Oath, you ever consider easing someone's pain, feel free to just approach them with a suitable drug. You will see their pain receding before your very eyes. The sick fall asleep when they're close to recovery, don't they? Um, or when they're close to their ultimate rest. Still, helping the hopeless will grant you a good reputation. You will be seen as a benefactor willing to part with a precious sleeping draught or a painkiller for a simple bystander. Anything else? No, no, not yet. Show me the way to Simon's house. Turn left now, then walk along the alley. Uh, you will see a cathedral and three mansions across the bridge square. Simon lives... Uh, and the one that is closest to the river. Thank you. Alright, thanks, masked, masked man. Oh my god. Man. Anything I can do for you? I'd be much obliged to help me learn how to get around your town. Tell me about the town hall. Is that... Is that... What is the telemetry? The warehouse is a district as well, right? There's more than one town here. The first one is called Bull Project. The second one is Offspring of the Project, um, is the districts. I mean, the residential part itself. Not so long ago, the town also dropped anchor across the river. But I wouldn't go as far to call that part of the district of the district too. It's just the polyhedron. Okay. Tell me about the Bull Pro Project. It's the industrial base of the town. The station, the warehouses, the works, um, and the abattoir uh, all belong to it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going there. It's not an appropriate place for a person from the capital. It's filthy there and the stench. I'd say it's not an appropriate place for anyone at all. Huh. I didn't think about going there anyway. Say, how can I... Um, how come such a tiny town is divided into districts? Well, it's just sort of became that way. Uh, the Gullet and the Guzzle. The uh, Gorkins tr uh, tributary, tributaries, tributaries divide the town into three parts. Each of them consists of many separate courtyards. So maybe that's the reason. Uh, and what are those parts? Lower part adjacent to the abattoir is called Earth. Um, the one between the gullet and the guzzle we call knots, and the triangular promontory uh, between the guzzle and the gorkon is the stone yard. That's intricate. What about the district name? Stone yard consists of two districts, the bridge square, and the- Why does this guy know everything? I, like, even if I were to live here for so long, I, I wouldn't even keep up with this. Uh, square in the atrium. Uh, plus the mistress's tomb, of course. Earth has four residential districts. The Skinners and the Tanners, uh, the Hindquarters, and the Crude Sprawl in the middle. Is something wrong? I'm just not sure you need all, any of this. The Knots uh, have seven districts. The, spleen, the Spleen, the Marl, the Chine, the Backbone, the Mouth, the Flank, and the Gut. I don't suppose I need to go into any further details. Surely the Canes will show you around. Uh, they are expecting you after all. Much obliged. Okay, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. There's no run button as far as I know, right? Is there a run button? No. No such thing as a run button. You don't need it. Okay, so we need to go... Oh, shit. Oh, no, we're right there. Can you punch people? Yes. There's a lovely chap. That's... You know, to be honest, uh... I will say this. This game has a feel to it. Definitely. I feel like if Half-Life 2 did something like this, because that's, that's kind of giving me like what Half-Life 2's original concept was kind of going for. We're gonna come into here and we're gonna find our friend. Hello? Hey! Few people know death. We only endure it. Usually from determination. 
and even from stupidity and custom. Most vulnerable doctor. It is with such great impatience that we have been expecting you. You need not delve into the minutes of your business with us since our family is well acquainted with your scholarly work. We are also quite aware of the difficulties you were experiencing and well prepared to do our utmost to support you. Uh, it hurts me to all, all the more to be the one to inform you that Simon, my consid, my consingenuous brother, the creator, keeper, and embodiment of all this, uh, that surrounds us has been murdered. Damn it. Why did it have to happen just before I arrived? Right as I found the chance to prevail. Precisely. Why did it have to happen just before your arrival? Are you asking yourself the same question? I hope you don't see any connection between my arrival and the murder. In fact, I do see a connection. However, I do not mistake it for a thought that it was uh, you who murdered him. What do you know? Dr. Breen. <laughs> oh my god. It's him. My brother was murdered last night under the strangest circumstances. But for all the mystery surrounding his death, I'd rather it, it screw uh it, it shrew, uh the notion that his departure was connected with whoever had visited Simon that evening. The visitor is a man of laudable um rectitude. Uh and an old friend of our family. There are weak, uh, witnesses to testify that he and Simon did nothing but converse. Who is the visitor? See, we're a detective. We're called the Bachelor. Someone who know quite uh, you know quite well. The man whom my brother saw last night was your colleague, Isidore Barak. Uh, was he not the very person to advise you to come here as well? Yes. Hmm. I need to- hold on. This is gonna be nasty when we get the microphone. Okay. Hmm, Isidor. Isidor. Uh, has done more than he thinks. I have a lingering feeling that time itself is using uncontestable powers to further its own intentions. What do you think? Um, categories, the time, nature, and fate deprive man of responsibility for what goes on around him. I was taught to avoid this worldview. It could be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot escape the feeling that your arrival was no coincidence. Your choice was made for you, my dear doctor. Let us not blame fate for it. Isidore wrote to you without making us aware. He took a risk that could have displeased our family. Why do you speak the word, word fate with such disgust? Really? Even though we are uncertain of when you would arrive, my brother was looking forward to meeting you. The tragedy may have been a consequence of the actions he took in preparation for your arrival. Someone has taken a powerful piece from the chessboard, a piece upon which your p position here depended. It is undoubtedly regrettable, regrettable that Simon was paying on your side or playing on your side. My sincerest, uh, my sincerest condolences to you. Is, is there anything I can do to help? Uh, so you presume the queen knew of the blow and sacrificed itself for a pawn? But why? My sincerest condolences. Do you want to help us, doctor? Find the murderer for us. Find my brother Victor, who is in the wing next door. Would share um would share some of his thoughts on the matter. Help us and reward you um reward will not disappoint you. Indeed, it seems there are too many uh, coincidences. Your brother's murder can just uh, just as well be called the murder of Bachelor Dan 
Dankovsky or whatever. I will help you in every way I can. I need some time to get my act together. I suspect you are not aware that these developments render my whole life work null and void. Sure, I will help. I am convinced that if there is anyone at all that can help us solve this puzzle, then it's you. This mission calls for someone as astute and inventive as yourself. If Isidore was an instrument of fate, then Simon's murder is a message that fate intended for you personally. Do not think I am inclined to blame you for that. I am not. How do you plan to look for the murder? That would have been strange to say the least. How do you plan to look for the murder? We will take our own measures. The only thing I expect from you is to to be yourself. Do only what you think is required. Whatever you find out, whatever you do, whatever your day turns into, everything is a clue to a solution of this puzzle. I repeat, everything that is happening here is happening on your account. You have my sympathy. All right. So it looks like Simon is dead. His brother Gregory is preparing to take the empty throne of the clan's leader. The Canes are obsessed with the idea of finding the murderer. They don't seem to be driven by rancor, but rather by the desire to uncover a mystery. Simon Kane. So that was so originally. Okay, so it was Simon Kane, the man of improper longevity, is waiting for me here. I hope my he sympathizes with my request. I only need a living evidence of the impossible, and he's dead. So we need to go talk. Go next door and talk to. Simon? Is that what he said? No, Simon's dead. We need to talk to someone else. We need to talk to this person. This is where Victor lives, the youngest of the three Kane brothers. He can tell me more about Simon's manner of death, and I also should probably talk to Maria, Victor. The daughter has been expecting my arrival for several days. She seems to know more about me than I do. So we should probably talk to them first, and then we'll talk to Victor. At least that's the plan. I guess I can't really take anything from here. Okay. Where is the entrance to this lovely abode? There you are. Hello. Oh my God, your arm, your like fingers. The Savarov's wait is over. What the I've fuck? Always wanted an heir. These like, these like player models are creepy. You resemble an adventurer rather than a doctor. How is it that you know me? Who are you? I am an adventurer. Appearances can be deceiving. I saw you in a dream. Don't flatter yourself. My desires have nothing to do with that. I simply saw you take us all by the throat. What else did you see in that dream? I'll tell you when, uh, when I think I can trust you. I hope that happens soon. You're an arrogant girl, aren't you? I hope that happens soon. Great souls oh, okay. Those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common, but those only who have greater designs. Now listen closely. The time for conclusion, secrets, and alliances have come. Uh, I am going to ask something of you. I am not used to that. I am used to holding the reins, but you are not uh, ha harnessed, so it would be unacceptable to address you in this manner. I find solace in the fact that my request will welcome with you. Will be welcome with you. It fits the style of your venture. Yes, I. You'd better be polite. I don't take kindly to orders. I am a creature of liberty. I am not an adventurer, and my job is no venture. I hope it never becomes one. I apologize if my worms come across as mangled and silly. I am truly not used to uh, to asking, but the nature of my request demands complete and selfless uh, humility. Wait, humility? What? Trying to humiliate me? Just imagine me begging and kneeling, and believe me, I do feel that way. No need to kneel. What did you want to talk about? Today's death was the first, 
but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the score for irreplaceable victims. Soon their murder will multiply. I beg you to preserve the lives of several people when, um, when the lines of their fortune cross yours. Before any of them dies, uh, there will be a moment when you will be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. Who are these people? It, that doesn't matter. Um, what was destined to happen will happen. You can be whatever you want to be. You are not a coward choosing to hear no evil and run away from reality. I will give you a list uh, of those I know of. These people are bound to you. What in the world is going on here? Are you trying to flirt with me? Bound? There is a tight spring of power within each of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human existence and become something greater. They are standing they are standing on the verge of their humanity, gazing into the realm whether they could uh, serve a different higher purpose without even knowing it. Moreover, they are bound to help uh, they are bound to make the leap in one way or another. That's why we call them simply the bound. But how is the fate bound to mine? Did you say my victory depended on them? How? I don't know. I'm not a mistress yet. The future is not as clear to me as I would prefer, but I can feel the present. Uh, I can already distinguish a, dis a dubious guess from the pulse of the, the precise knowledge devoid of words and images. These people are bound to you and your lives. Uh, are connected. I wouldn't have asked you to take care of them otherwise. You sound delusional. I'm sorry, but your uncle's death has messed with your head. You need to come to your senses. Are you clairvoyant or something? Ah, yes. You haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that someone may be unaware of my abilities. No one here dares to doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every ruling house possesses special abilities. I am learning to see the future and transform the present. This fact offers your words different degree of authenticity. Forgive me, but I don't believe in this type of phenomenon. Will you comply with my, re with my request? Will you save the lives of the people I name to you? Answer me before, I go, uh, before going back to Eva. All right. It is truly within my power. I do my best to save their lives. Whatever happens, these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine. They may well uh, hold the keys to my victory in their hands. So I need to make sure Gregory Kane, Victor Kane, Andre Stamantin, Peter Stamantin, Maria, so her, and uh, Eva and oh my god, <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> and Mark Immortal. Okay, is that it? It came from below the ground. We the Canes have always. We were burying the bones wrong. <laughs> we the Canes have always been out of touch with mundane reality, but we are driven by love. Love can be furious, funny, blind, but there never need to be uh, to make uh, excuses for it, is there? I'm not sure I'll be a great talker right now, especially on this topic. What exactly did you see in that dream of yours? Um, the one that had to do with me? Truly terrifying uh, battle is ahead of you. If no one is uh, has ever told you about your fate, I will be the first. You must know that I admire you in advance, regardless of the outcome. You will fight a foe that few can defeat. Regardless of the outcome, you will clash with your foe like a dragon slayer, but your weapon will turn against you, striking at the heart. You will end up with your own flesh torn. Every drop of blood you squeeze out of that heart will turn into a gulp of yours. If your foe escapes you, penetrates you, or saddles you, you will hear malicious laughter in your ears and your uh, crestfallen weeping. So it's about the murderer. Well, uh, I will make them regret your tears, whoever they are. Okay. Uh, can I loot your... No. Okay, I'm just gonna go. 
I'm just, I'm just gonna go. That was interesting. Uh, we have two people here. Let's talk to you. There's something in particular we feel the urge to warn you about. When you speak to the bound, please choose your words carefully. Do not worry. You will easily be able to make out uh, what kind of person is standing before you. An observant man that you are. So use that skill when dealing with the bound. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, whereas others need to be treated with utmost respect. If I ever engage in conversation with someone, I won't. Uh, it won't be for personal gain. I have no idea what you're talking about. Every line you utter will have consequences. News spreads rapidly around here. If you spoil your reputation in one place, you'll have to reap what you have sown in another. Restore your good name in the south, and you'll receive a warmer welcome in the north. They will heed every word you say, and you'll be rewarded. Not by means of money, I hope. A handful of money? It's not a dialogue fee. Don't get me wrong. Never refuse to take small sums of money from the bound. Uh, that would not belittle you in any fashion, but would rather demonstrate that you appreciate the local customs. Alright, I'll keep the local customs in mind. Thank you. What are- who are you? Who are you? The town is a small, rather unexceptional place, uh, isn't it? But there are all kinds of people here. Uh, the simple folk. And more remarkable ones. The former will tell you what they know, the latter, okay. And who are these remarkable people? There are 20-something of them, easily distinguished by their lodgings or their presence. They're called, um, many names. The Bound, the Faded... Why? It's because that is what decides the fate of this town. Don't be distracted by the fact that some of them look insignificant or... Uh, disreputable. Uh, they will earn their worth. You just give them time. They're the most important joints of the town. Why are you telling me all this? Each, each day, one of them will try death by the tooth. Each will put their life at risk, and each one that dies is important. Some of them may take the keys to the victory, uh, to victory to the grave. Mind that the keys are yours. Uh, while the grave is theirs, others will do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. Um, how do you know what is helpful and what gets in the way? Okay, okay. Alright, dropping you one more, um, dropping you more hints would be cheating. Shutting up now. Allow me to conclude then. Each bound you save will influence the finale of your adventure. Each of them has their own goals and motives. It may also, it may so happen that those who seek a different ending survive and then, well, you've been warned. Okay, I'll take it into account. I'll be careful. In stupid people terms, basically the game is letting you know that, um, just like real life, uh, uh, what you say and what you do has consequences for your actions. Wow. This game has acknowledged the fact that that's a, an occurrence that can occur. Occurrence that can occur. Is that a... Okay, whatever. Thanks, game. Wow. That's so wack wacky and cool. Hi. It is far easier to be wise for others than to be so for one. Oh my god! Is that... Is that him? It's Nicolas Cage. The famous Dr. Uh, Denkovsky. Uh, your arrival is great honor for us. Victor Kane at your service. Dino Devas, blah, 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 my pleasure. I foresee that things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. I would like to compensate for that impression. You know, our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. What do you mean? I mean, the traditions, games that we play with passion, will most likely be one of no interest to you. The people we'll meet there here may seem eccentric, naive, or even somewhat deranged. Please take it easy on us. Don't judge us too strictly. I'll do my best to not disappoint you. How can I help? Gregory has told me everything, which is to say that he told me very little, but it was enough to astound me. He maintains that you can provide a more detailed account. So... 
Have you, uh, so you have agreed to help us? I have. May I ask why? The killer's goals seem to align astonishingly well with the goals of those who have been waging war against my work for years. We share a tragedy. I want to extra, uh, exact vengeance upon the one who, that robbed me and my work of, of a future. I want to solve a puzzle. Even, um, I even like having so little information. It's a challenge to my intellect. The killer's goal to align well as mine. I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. When was Simon last seen? He sent Isidore uh, home. Then, an hour later, he came to this hall to see us. He announced his plans to withdraw uh, to the focus and receive no one. Um, he told us not to approach the focus and um, to fast for a week, partaking of neither meat or water. Then, in the morning, he was found dead. How was he found? Could he have been poisoned? Why no meat or water? Okay, so this is important. Time is, you know. So, I'm thinking, I feel like the best choice of ash action would either be questioning i don't think i should be questioning is if he's been poisoned that was my first choice that i was gonna pick that's what my brain told me to choose there's how was he found why no meat or water or why was he could he have been poisoned these are all really good questions that i wish i could have asked all three of these um but I, i'm assuming i can only ask one of these questions which one I feel like seeing how he was found could help determine. Well, no, I don't think that would lead to anything, but. Okay. How is he found? The servants discovered him in the morning. The room had been ransacked. Everything that was breakable had been broken. His, um, his defigured uh, contorted body bore signs of terrible suffering. His neck was twisted. His spine broken. I think... Wait, you think? Okay. No one has touched the body. It is currently inside the focus and will remain there for the prescribed amount of time. What's the focus? Uh, what's the, uh, this focus place? It's hard to explain. It's his study, if you will. An extraordinarily spacious creative laboratory, almost perfectly sealed off, except for the door that was visible at all times, metaphorically speaking. I don't understand. It's like an equation or a mirror puzzle. Anyway, uh, the murderer could not have been hiding there. Take my word for it. Well, Simon did get in there somehow. He could perform far more uh, impressive feats. There's a reason why the whole town re um, reveres, I mean, revered him. All right, so how can I help? Tell me honestly, dear Victor, did Simon exist at all? All right, so how can I help you? Just take a look around, trust your intuition, do whatever you like, speak to whoever you feel the need to, look for the murderer, doctor, and you will find them. Okay, keep looking till the last breath. I'm sure your rational thinking will help you. So Isidore is the only lead, how can I find him? I'll show you, but you must be careful. Simon's murderer, whoever they are, could not be an extraordinary, an ordinary person. I can't imagine them even being a person. I fear it could only be fate, wearing a guise of a mysterious monster. I don't believe in fate. Dude, that is so fucking edgy. I'm gonna say that, I don't believe in fate. Okay, so he's all the way over there? Dude, I have to, like, walk my ass all the way across this bridge, through this town, all the way over here, just to there. My first thing I'm gonna do is I'm immediately going back to Eva to tell her everything, because she might have information. My logic is that she probably has information on where all of the people that are bound to me's location is. She probably knows where everyone is. Okay, so that's an important- so important locations are brown. 
they have like a little brown outline. The rest of these are just normal average houses. See? Or like a weird copper color. I'll just call it copper. The town theater, the town hall, um, the shelter, Laura Ravel's house, okay? Willow Anna, okay? So this is probably how we're gonna probably find everybody. Apparently these are not, like I can actually hover over all of these. Factory building for the machine, that seems important. Brad, bad grief slayer. Castle soul. Okay. There's a symbol here. There's a symbol here. And is there another symbol nearby? Somewhere? Doesn't seem to be. There's only two symbols. This is the first block of the the thing, the abattoir. So this giant thing. So this is where Isidore Bur uh, Barak lives. The man that had brought me to this remote place. He is the last person that saw Simon Kane alive. Okay. So he'll have information, hopefully. But I also need to make sure to check on everybody that I'm bound to. That I ha haven't already checked up on. Just to be sure they're okay. And if they have anything I need to do. Okay. That's the plan, Stan. Let's go talk to Eva, and give her all the information that we have obtained so far. Alright, so we are we are here. We're just gonna head down all the way down here, and then we're gonna yeah, okay. There's my quests, so we have side quests. So this is the mission. So today's quest we're gonna be in pursuit of a killer. Find who killed the um, the immortal Simon Kane, the dead man who owns uh, man's own family may not want it more than I do. Um, I I have an ab abiding desire to punish the murderer, to eradicate them, no matter if they were acting on their own account or at the behest of the powers of uh, that be. Whoever they were, they picked the moment too far too well, uh, far too well. My gentle associate, my selfless advisor. Isidore was the last person to see Simon Kane alive. If it wasn't for Bert Barak's guidance, I never would have come to the backwoods domain. Um, all the more reason to start my pursuit with him. And then our mission is to just kind of... So the person who is actually going to help us probably solve this issue, like this whole disease that's going around here, is now fucking dead. Um, my issue right now that I currently have is, I don't know, is as this rise, I'm, I'm assuming as this rises, the, that means more hungry I am. As this rises, the more th uh, tired I am. As this rises, the more infected I am. My immunity is going down, I think. Adherence. So these are the people we need to go look for. We're going to bring this up to her mostly. Uh, hopefully, I can. I'm going to talk to people and make sure everything's cool and Gucci. I did not talk to that guy. Hi. Young lady, anything I can help you with? No, thank you. Okay. What is... what's that? Hey. Halt. I'm going to have to teach you about the technicalities of the setting. Time and place... It it's not essential, but that's just how it is. The actor has been prepared long uh, before he goes on stage, or else he'll fall down. I'll okay. Speak, I'm listening. Time flies by. It can be stopped or turned back. Night follows, uh, follow days, which are f uh, then followed by nights. Things happen without any regard for whatever you're there to witness them. Don't expect anyone to wait for you. Most events can be missed, and so. And so it would make sense for you to visit the places that you care about regularly. You'll find that people um, that will play major roles in your fate there. Um, they stand out from the common folk. The rest um, are just a crowd shot, a background, a bunch of extras, as it's always been. Indeed, still, it's best to avoid hasty judgment. It's a paradox, you see. Don't try to care too much for the lives of these bound uh, to stand out people. 
Um, and don't be too... Don't be too dismissive of the silent crowd. Both extremes will end in tragedy. Why is that? The world cares for your reputation. A fine and crucial instrument. Uh, your reputation changes the world you see, for it is a mirror. You uh, Wouldn't you agree? And so a bad reputation can get you into a lot of trouble. For example, oh, need to describe? You've got a vivid imagination. Everything changes from mystical aspects to mundane things, like the people you need to... Uh, you need treating you badly. Um, how many enemies you've got. How high the prices rise. How bad your dreams are. Lots of things. Sorry, prospects. So how do I maintain reputation? Really? How do you even... How is that even a question? Same as anywhere. You, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not betray. Do not steal. Do not covet. Do not be an asshole. Do, do not be an asshole. That's very important. Uh, that, is, that is a good good rule of thumb. Thanks, Executor. Do not get caught. Rules are the same everywhere. A truly selfless deed, like risking something for a tiny neighbor or even a person who lives quite far away, can help in a dire situation. I see. Really? Good for you, then. As for me, I can't see anything in this mask. Um, I have no idea what's going on. Anyway... Um, don't get too worked up about human lives and don't put too much stock into another's words. Be, um, mine included. He who trusts everyone is to be deceived. Yet he who trusts no one is to be deluded. I know from that experience. Hello? Uh, he didn't like that. <laughs> this, he didn't like that. That ominous singing outside the window is gnawing at me. Who could be singing at this t at a time like this? Very little time has passed, but I feel hungry and exhausted again. Since you decided to fight death, you will have to be very careful. It's September. Wait. Wait, what? It's September now. Like, in real life. <laughs> Dude, that's freaky. That's freaky. I didn't even plan that. Oh my god. You know what I also didn't plan? This being on 9-11 and also, um, uh, this also being about a disease that no one has a cure for, really. Uh, you will be dying with every breath of our air. We are all dying with every second of our life. It's exact. Um, it's exactly this annoying phenomenon that I have challenged. But since you've heard uh, Fanatica's achievements, I'm not going to waste your time monologuing. What am I supposed to do? Not breathe your air? Should I have stocked up on the um, on the air from the capital? Should I humor her? You got me wrong. You'll be dying here much faster than the capital. Your body is wasting away just as fast as your boat sinks with its uh, hold full of water. Breathe in this air. Can you feel it? You have a po poetic mind, but why? This step is full of various herbs. They fill the air with uh, dizzying vapors. White whip tire um, and even Swevery, swevery, are dangerous in August and September. Uh, when herbs surrender their juices to the sun, people tend to get headaches this time of year. Heart suffers, uh, lie in bed with uh, pains. My heart aches too. How do you know people live here? Tyre is a rare herb, so usually it's bearable, but this year it's unbelievably plentiful. The elderly say that uh, this is phenomenal. Nothing like this has happened before they think it's a bad omen well i don't believe that but the air is droning can you feel it don't you feel dizzy yes the air is heavy you need to sleep often never go hungry drink more water you need to look after yourself properly if you feel sick forget everything and go get some rest otherwise you may die of a heart attack or bleeding be careful all right both my heart and mind are strong enough uh can you actually help me I don't- I can't hear anything. Okay, she's not gonna give me any information about what I was talking- 
what they were talking about about the bound. So I have a weapon, a scalpel. I just did I just drop that? I did. Give me this. Oh shit. Nice. Okay. Clothes. We have gloves. Protective gloves. Okay, so that's important. We have drugs, we have painkillers, we have morphine, we have tablets, immunity booster. And then we have a tourniquet, which is helpful. Rations, we have water, that'll be helpful. And we have other, and this is our time. It's 7-14 day one. We ha currently have 1,438 shekels. Alright, so I guess we're gonna head straight, because she won't tell us anything, we're gonna head straight to, uh, to his name, or whatever. Whatever his name is. What are those things? There's no time to speak. We must continue. I think that's what's his name, we were talking to him earlier. Right? I think. No, you have brown hair, the other guy had blonde. Oh, let's go this way. This guy is different. Let me check everything. So we're fine. Blow softening. Protection from bullets. Protection from fire. Protection from infection. That's good. So we're looking for... So time freezes when we're in the screen. Okay. So we have Victor, which we know where they are. Gregory, we know where they are. We don't know where this person is. We don't know where that person is. So we have to find the stomatons. Uh, we know where that person is. We know where that person is. And I don't know where Mark and Mortal is. I don't, I don't even know what they look like. Hello. Young man. Good morals and luck are a great help in managing a small community without resorting to violence. Personal standings. Uh, standing can work wonders. What do you mean? I like our town. We're all one big family, but sometimes I get the feeling that we're all controlled by un an unseen power. Our actions but fiction. It's quite possible. I, I don't even know if that did anything. That's kind of a little terrifying. But... I guess we'll head down. Dude, I love that. You actually feel every step. That's awesome. Good details. Ah. Uh, hello? My heart is crying for my poor children. How are my dearest doing? Is everything alright? Oh, women's share is hard. Would you kindly mend my clothes, my dear? You've got a curious town here. I never expected to see some something like this in such a remote place. Everyone's tired of the uh, of the endless construction work. We want some quiet. Is there a lot of construction going on? Not a lot, but I cannot shrug away the feeling that the world is changing all too quickly. Um, the rulers invite architects from the capital and they turn everything upside down. It's fun for the children, but a torment for us. I'm sorry to hear that. I guess maybe she ho she likes my sentiments. Hopefully. So now we're in the second part of uh, the district. We have to walk through that, get to this, uh, to that bridge. I don't have a mini map, but, but you know, it's fine. Is there dogs? Comrade Dog. I'm red dog. I have like the money symbol on, on top of my head. Oh, the shop? Is that why? What, is that, what does that say? Can I read it? So this might be a house to explore, right? Oh. Ah. Uh, hello. Who are you? Um, okay, they have smoked meat. I'll go ahead and purchase some smoked meat. 
uh, how do I, how do I, uh, okay, uh, how do I, uh, how do I, uh, I don't, I don't know how to, how do I, okay, how does trading work, I, I don't understand, I think that's, that works, right, I, I did it, right? Oh, okay, that worked. You hit this arrow here, I guess, to accept the trade. Okay. And then I guess this is the leave button or to cancel. And then I guess escape is to... Okay, well, I guess I better buy meat animal slaughtered hours ago. Nobody knows where it came from this. Oh, boy. Okay, fresh fish. Fish can always be good. Or crackers. I'll take some crackers and dried fish. Could this uh, indicate a mass dying off of fish? Hundreds of dead fish have washed up during the past week. The banks are covered in scales. Oh, jeez. This is this has made the people wary of eating fresh fish, and they now prefer preserved fish like this one. Hmm. Okay. Vegetables. I like vegetables. I'll buy that. So if I hit enter, that did that do anything? No. Okay. So hitting enter ends the whole thing. Okay. I'll, uh... Uh... I'm just gonna go now. Uh... So we have food now, which looks like we're, we're getting a little hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Walter, Walter eat uh, some crackers. It helped with the hunger. Fantastic. What are these things? Whoa. Empty bottles and a gold ring. I I don't know if this is stealing. What is? What are these? What, what is this? I I think this is stealing. But. I, I don't know. I, I think that was stealing. I'm gonna take the bottle too. I I don't get the fuck out of here. Okay. So we need to get yeah. So we need to go that way. Place is uh Whoa. Oh, this is a water keg. Oh so I was able to use that water to get water. Or sorry, I was <laughs> I was able to use that water bottle to get water. Hello. My heart is aching. Oh. Everything will be fine. There's an old man. Or something. I don't trust that person. I'm gonna move on. I found three coins on the ground. Did I? Apparently I did. Okay. Found a whole three coins just hanging around. Alright, we're moving on to the next section here. Right? Yes. We're gonna go meet Zaya or it is Isidor. Isidor. Which I think Eva's door is gonna be somewhere this way. What the fuck? Are you okay? Oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is, for tis her wrath that has to be withstood. Oh, friend, if only I could wet my whistle, I'd gladly give you anything on earth to exchange for a grip of cooling spring water. 
How about we barter? Uh, you'll have to, uh, your water and I'll have your bandages. Why don't you drink from the river then? How about we barter? Here you go, buddy. Here is one water. Did that help? I think I gave him the water, right? Okay, he took the water. I think- I think I gave him water. I think. Nothing in the trash cans. Alright, so we need to find their house. It's over here. This is like some weird, like, Despicable Me houses. Or like, Hello Neighbor houses. I think this is his house right here. No, we passed it. It's It was in between here with the fence. Ah, right there. Can I? How do I get into here? Okay, so there's only one entrance to his house. From what it looks like. Or not? I guess I did this wrong. I guess their house is over here. I need to find another empty bottle now because I gave one to somebody else. How do I get into this person's house? Okay, over there. Alright. Uh, he he hello? A foul murder, uh, murder ha occurred here this night. No unauthorized access is allowed. Inspecting the crime scene is strictly forgotten until further notice. Who was killed? Well, you're not a local, sir, so you're unlikely to understand the loss that we've suffered. East door... Isidore Barak, uh, a great surgeon, a benefactor to us all, and an all-round skilled doc, an outstanding man, beloved and well-respected by us locals. Does it really always have to take the very best? What a foul time to live in. I knew him. I'm a doctor too. Whoever killed uh, our only doc must surely be looking to get us all killed. Isidore could cure anything. He also knew how to make cuts or incisions because uh, he was a warden. Uh, he knew his lines all right. Uh, like I said, it all makes sense. Whoever killed Simon took Isidore's life too. And this is merely the beginning. What makes you think the two cases are connected? Only the beginning. What makes you so sure? What makes you think they're too connected? Well, uh, uh, who would have been, uh, who would have the heart to attack such men? If you had just asked me yesterday, I'd only have told you no one would ever dare to inflict such an ugly wound on this town. Uh, but if there's someone, it has to be just that one. Someone. Although it looks fishy, if you ask me. That thing was no man. That's what I think. Explain yourself. See, this murderous deal is all mysterious. Um, there was a talon stuck in the victim's chest. Go ahead, bend your arm at, um, at the elbow, good sir. Yeah, just like that. There you go. That's how long it was. It broke off. There was dust on the floor uh, for the deceased. <laughs> Had been a renowned step walker. Um... And the dust was all covered in hoof steps and like traces of a sharp bone, I guess. As if someone was using a walking stick round there. Um, I'm telling you, it's her. The, sh the Shabnak Adder. The Clay Man Eater. I want to ins inspect the building. Alright, enough of this. I want to inspect the building. We've been assigned to this post by Alexander, the head of this... Uh, of the Sabra family, his house is in the decline, uh, right now, is in decline right now, but it's still powerful and very much respected. For it is they uh, that's been responsible for maintaining worldly order 
and public safety in the town since the olden days. Please kindly address your concerns to him. There, um, there's their rod. Uh, you just take, uh, you take that road up there and get to the Cape. As for me, I'm not uh, authorized to let you in. You should have said, uh, said so from the start. He did. He, he, well, depending on what you're referring to. But, pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, thanks, man. I assume you'd just say the same shit. So I'm gonna move on now. There's a fire over there. There is a fire over here. I'm gonna check that out. That's somebody burning. Uh... Why are they burning that person? Oh, fuck. No one saw anything, right? Oh, fuck. A gun? Oh, fuck. Okay, so... We have a revolver now. So I guess this has bullets in it. So is it is it a six? So is it a six shooter kind of weapon? Automatic revolver. Rate of fire, only limited. Oh, I just dropped that, okay. Okay. Well, it doesn't really help me that, like, I don't... <sighs> Whatever. What's going on with my character? So, they're exhausted right now. They're thirsty. But I don't know what to do with the whole water situation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna do the... that's a gun. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water. And now I should have a empty bottle. I do. So I'm gonna walk up to this and then hit E to get some water. I don't know how much... How often my character is gonna need to down water, but <laughs> I will refer to talking to these people. Hello. This Horospex is trying to prove his innocence. It's a no go. So I finally get to see you. Yes, you really do look like a messenger from, of uh, sorrow times. In any case, welcome to the Rod. Our meeting is quite significant in a way. Facing the changes with the uh, with open eyes and taking their first blow is my duty. Do you think um, we're on the, the verge of an especially unhappy era? No grim events have clouded our existence since last summer. Uh, the country has cured its uh, war wounds. Commercial communications have been repaired. Um, astrologists expect nothing ill. Do you wish, uh, do you hold astrologists' opinion in high regard? Uh, okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Give me one second. I should probably do this real quick. Well, actually, I don't even know how long it'll take, but it's urgent. From what it se oh, from what it seems.
Okay, hold on. Ah, okay. I'll make sure to do that, uh, when I can. Okay. I will do that later. Okay. No grim existence. Okay. Sometimes I have to... Do you hold astrologist opinion in high regard? Who do I have the pleasure to uh, of speaking to, sir? The movement of the planets has an obvious effect on our life. However, I do not think it's humanely possible to gain any profit from that. Sometimes I have to. Are you an astronomer? I'm a ruler. Astrology can be very curious, but I cannot allow it to influence my decisions. I have to act according to the factual circumstances. Would you agree? Definitely. What has this town turned into? So, so you've come to meet with, um, so you've come to meet with Simon, haven't you? What did you, uh, what did I, what can I do for you now? I was actually invited by Isidore. So I came to meet with him first and foremost, but now it turns out that, uh, who are the people guarding Isidore's house? Nothing, not anymore. Who are you giving me that uh, look as if Simon's death was my fault? Uh, I was invited by Isidore. He's been murdered, yes. Looks like the murderer is always one step ahead of you, doesn't it? Same one that took Simon's life too. At least that's the conclusion suggested by the information at my disposal. Same pattern, same signature. Uh, where Were there any traces? Look, I haven't been there myself. I'm quite content with interrogating suspects, especially since we already know who we're after. You can join the hunt, by the way. I can describe his features. Who is it then? You wouldn't believe it. Um, his own son. Uh, the fellow came back after being away for quite a while. His father had sent him to study surgery. Uh, when he was but a greenhorn, but quite a lot, uh, he has learnt, yeah, huh? A wandering scholar turned evil by, uh, to the bone. All of that just to grab uh, the inheritance. inheritance. So what did Isidore leave of fortune? I have no idea yet. His belongings, um... His belongings are being evaluated as we speak. It's not about money, though. The steppe people's uh, idea of airship still comes with those <clears throat> ancient connotations, tribal ethics. Uh, the next of kin not only inherits things, they inherit knowledge, fate, power. Such motive is incompatible with a student of medicine, in my mind. It's in their blood. Oh, well. The outlaw will show his true color soon enough when we catch him. He'll explain the motive himself. How did you find him? In all honesty, it's hard to explain um, that to an outsider like you. Uh, do you believe in uh, Do you believe in such a thing as clairvoyance, Bachelor? Of course, I do. Well, you should get to know and uh, get to know my wife then, or better yet, those who have already had opportunities to witness the power of her prophecies. Uh, former doubters, first and foremost, rationalists. Uh, she's got something to say uh, to you too, by the way. So your wife called out Isidore's son specifically. So do you have rationalists in town, except for me? That is. Hmm. Hmm. Not specifically, no. But it's, um, it all adds up. And the circumstances of Simon's death make you wonder, too. Isidore's son arrived here last night. Timing speaks against him. It even matches the time it takes to get from the Crucible to Isidore's house. Well, that's not enough. I'll have to take the investigation into my own hands. Is there anyone who can help 
uh, who can be of, uh, of help to me apart from your wife. There are a few good an analysts in your town in our town. Everyone is more or less superstitious here, except for one Yulia Lyricheva. Uh, perhaps a most level-headed and reasonable person. The only person who remains skeptical about uh, Kater Katerina's talents too. Without a shadow of a doubt, she has her own picture of events. She always does. What is this, uh, Yulia? She came here with an engineering team when the town was being rebuilt. Um, did logistics or maybe communications? Not sure. They said she's a true expert in her field. Smart, yes. A polymyth. Um, then the team left. But then, uh, but she stayed. She has my respect, but not my fondness. Very well, I'll speak to her. She's all the way over here. She may be the on my only ally in the attempt to, to put the fairy tales of this backwards place to the test of agenda and physics. Okay. Anything else you can talk to me about? Who are the people guarding Isidore's house? Those are volunteer patrolmen. We usually keep around 20 of them, but I... I've increased the number recently to a hundred and a half or so. Really? Why did you do so many? There's unrest in the ter uh, termitary. Um, if I weren't certain that Isidore has been murdered by his son, I would have. Uh, I would even consider the crime to be po uh, politically motivated. Isidore was preparing to take over the kin and become its leader, at least according to the information I have. Uh, what is your kin? Step, uh, the step people who work, um, in the abattoir, many of the factory workmen and ignorant, um, patriarchal, wait, patriarchal pile, uh, that hasn't changed much since the Stone Age. They look human enough, but if you look closer, they're just beasts. Believe me when I'm telling you that I am not snobbish in the slightest, but <clears throat> there's good reason to call them that. Yes, Isidore has always had the air of a people untouched by civilization. Goodness, Isidore wasn't educated, modern man compared to them. They revered him, uh, too. He got to know modern knowledge, but never left his people. A complicated man. May he rest in peace. Yes, I'm sorry about Isidore. I don't think you are aware of the fact that Isidore came to me last night, just after he had returned, and warned me that there were some ominous events ahead of us. I took this as an unofficial warning about his upcoming takeover. So you took measures? Curious. Thank you for telling me. So you, so you took measures? Um, evidently, I've mobilized the patrols. I see what you're implying, Bachelor, but I'm not insane. Engineering Isidore's murder, uh, as a matter of fact, a strong independent kin under Isidore's rule would have been way more useful to me. Really, why? Because that would weaken the power of the honorable, uh, that person's name who pocketed the economy of the whole town. He'd rather see the kin as a dumb and speechless herd and come to think of it, well, I'm not sure you understand where I'm going with this. This is precisely what Gregory warned me about. I do. The rabble is completely out of control. They must have been bottling up their lowly instincts for- Nothing, not anymore, okay. Interesting. It has been, I guess, another hour. Yes, it's been another hour. So every time an hour passes, it does the ding, which is a little, little spooky. Okay, so we need to go this way, not this way, this way. Okay. I have a gun.
Okay. The fuck? Or you? We all know about you. Aren't you a lively gal? Sh shall we barter, perhaps? What's up? The soul and haves got an opportunity to catch their breath. This is good. Now everyone will have the time to prepare. Otherwise, we'd have uh, to mourn our boys. The haves would be orphaned. The soul and the haves? Just a catchy name. Notkin says uh, it's because each of them has a uh, familiar... Has a familiar. A cat, a dog, a crow, a grass snake, half soul. Okay. Hmm. I thought the locals believed in... That a normal person is supposed to have one soul. Is that a game? It's a lifestyle, a larger than life. Okay. You raise it, you change ground. I see. Interesting. I'm not gonna question it. Who's this person? Hello? Hey you, don't mess with us. We know a thing or two about life. What are you, uh, why are you so bristled up? It has begun! A crushing blow to the soul and the halves, uh, is being prepared. There are almost 70 dog heads. No one will escape their doom. What does it mean? It means the end of the soul of the haves domination in earth. Not Ken will have to sweat to break free from the dog's jaws. Who is not Ken? Uh, you will know when the time comes. If he's still alive by then. That is, I hope you're talking about a game. A game to some, destiny to others. I hope you avoid manslaughter. Yeah, I hope you don't murder people, like a psycho. Uh, my character's getting exhausted now, but it is not nighttime. We still have these people to look after. Um, we have not found the Stamantins yet. Uh, I also need to go this way. I went the wrong way. I might have gone the wrong way again. Yes. I think I did. Yes, I did, but I think I can loop around, hopefully. This is the house we needed to go into. I don't think we can swim. I'm not gonna give this game that much credit. There's a turned over barrel. Playground, a bunch of people. So this game's like Animal Crossing. It has different music per hour, like different, you know, like whenever the hours are different, you have different music. Hello. My arms are flaccid, as if made of I seem to have lost any capacity for observation. My mind is out of tune. Things no longer add up. Before, I had no trouble forming a trustworthy tessellation. Okay. Out of most imper imperceptible co uh, contingencies. Now I simply cannot get my head around it. Um, could it be that I am dying? The step air is way too thick. I think that's what causes it. When people are tired, you probably haven't slept for a while, have you? Yes, it definitely means that you are about to die. Oh no, Herba Trinavir is in blossom. I grant you, but then it blooms every year. Uh, every year, the steps, uh, the step is filled with the stupefying vapors. The issue I am having, however, has nothing to do with the fatigue or perplexity. It is just that I have lost my ability to make distinctive events coincide. Um, everyone has that ability. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Let me, um, elucidate. Uh, a single word sum 
someone utters may participate precipitate the birth of their own murderer. This line of uh, philosophy uh, is barely an intellectual novelty, and it is particularly relevant uh, relevant in our neck of the woods. I sometimes feel like I could touch the notions of cause and effect with the tips of my fingers. But now I am feeling I'm being tedious. I reckon. Not at all. Sorry to say, but yes, you are a bit tedious. Not at all. This girl is a changeling. She's not the murderer. What? So, you have traveled all the way here, only to find that both people you wanted to see were brutally murdered? Is this how the story goes? I do hope that your visit is not in any way related to these most for unfortunate circumstances. I have to find whoever is that killed Isidore and Simon, uh, and I wanted to ask for your help. Sabarov um, told me that you have a gift for all manner of investigative inquiry. I doubt I can do it on my own. Tell me, uh, plain and simple, what do you make of all this? I have yet to meet anyone who can help me in the slightest way uh, to find the killer. Do you like Evo Yan? I am certainly no better investigator than you. I have never had a chance to search for a murderer before, but um, the best I can offer is to fill in the blanks with whatever mysterious supernatural, uh, supernatural entities seem most fitting. Shabnak Adir uh, is the simple man scarecrow. I would have to follow a different narrative. What kind of narrative? Consider the circumstances of his death. They are Simon had um they ha said Simon had locked himself up in the evening and consequently died in the morning inside the mansion in a chamber with some peculiar name. What's uh what's that word? Uh the one that you've just said. Okay, this. Uh in this case I would suggest that Simon was poisoned um by the canes. I would have thought but I know their family all too well. Their natural loyalty or their mutual loyalty is one rivaled by their arrogance towards anyone who is not one of them. They hold the uh, they hold the princely, sa princely sage who stands um, at the head of their family in highest esteem. They believe that a single dishonorable act will tarnish their name for generations to come. I doubt any of them would have sto uh, stooped to this, no matter whether they wanted to or not. Poison, how did you arrive to that conclusion? I don't believe you understand what he died in focus really implies. Um, do you want to know... Uh, do you know that the canes refer to uh, um, to as focus? You don't seem to grasp the semantics uh, semantics of the term. These are the canes for you. These kinds of innuendos are their forte. Well, what does the focus mean then? The focus is anything but an abstraction. Uh, quite the opposite, in fact. It is governed by uh, mathematically rigid uh, regularities, you see. No one but the owner of a focus may get inside. Uh, this is an only... Uh, this can only mean that Simon had brought the killer with him, or rather within him, since no physical object may be brought into the focus either. Um, how do you know that? Who doesn't? The Canes are notoriously passionate about all manners of s synthetic a um, anomalies. They will never pass up the opportunity to devise a kun kunz kunst okay, kunstuk uh, that would allow them to warp, uh, warp space, challenge physics, or manipulate optics uh, metaphysically. A focus can be compared to a camera obscura. Do, do note that the name is not unfitting. No, it is entirely impossible for someone to get inside. A curious conclusion, but an, in, uh, but an incorrect one. Simon was disfigured and bleeding. His bones were broken. And you're also not allowed to eat or drink. But that makes one suspect foul play in regard to Isidore's death. He, um, he had been stabbed after all. Is that so? Well, this does introduce a different perspective. Did you say Isidore was the last person to see Simon? The question is, 
Who did he see before? The sun had not uh, yet set when Isidor returned from the steppe. However, he came to Simon well after midnight. The question naturally arises, where did he spend the missing few hours? That is why I'm trying to trace Isidore's step. Uh, I want to talk to the same route. Or I want to walk the same route. I don't get, uh, don't get me wrong though. Was Isidor seen with Subarov by any chance? He was. He warned Subarov of an upcoming storm. All right, let me suggest then that while he was in in the steppe, he saw or learned something that he wanted to report to all three ruling families. In this case, either of the the Olgimsky uh, family should have been on um, his itinerary, uh, especially since Burka uh, Burak was one of their own men. Really? Okay. So, he went to all the families beforehand, I guess, except for, except for the fucking losers. Um, the ones that we were talking to before, Simon's family. Definitely the bull project from the abattoir uh, to the uh, to the railway is controlled by the Ogimsky family. If Isidore's discovery had anything at all to do with the kin, Isidore would have certainly um, relayed it to Vlad. So, do make sure to pay a visit to the uh, to the Lump. That's the name of the o uh, the Ogimsky mansion. Another fitting name, wouldn't you agree? Thank you, Yulia. Uh, what would I do without you? Okay, so that's gonna be on the way back. Actually, no, it's in the same district. Okay. So we need to leave out here, and then just fucking run our ass all the way over here to the lump. Which is where we need to go. They're probably gonna have us go all over the place on day one, just to kind of give us an idea of the layout of the map or something. Some major characters, locations, I guess. And it's still... It's still 9 o'clock. I guess it's like 9 a.m. right now. It's not really like... It's not in the PMs yet. We're still in- it's like 9 a.m. All these fucking freaks. How's our character doing? Exhaustion going up. We're gonna need to make sure to get home before we get exhausted. But we want to try to get as much done as possible here. So we're currently here. Okay. You have to go past through Town Hall and then this way. Okay. So Town Hall's right here. We're gonna go past Town Hall. That is creepy. The kid's like stopping in the middle of the road just to stare at you. Okay, this is just getting weird now. Uh this is gonna turn into like one of those. This is gonna turn into like one of those like Lord of the Flies situations where like the kids try to take over. They have their own hierarchy. Okay. I believe we're in the right place, yeah. What the fuck is that thing? Uh whoa, hello. I can't breathe. Not enough air. Ah, uh, Bachelor uh of course. Bachelor Tinkovsky. Uh, of course. Who else could be so dapper? I've heard quite a lot about you. Have you taken a look around? Be sure to check the state of the industry around here. We have our own ways. How curious. Um, do you think I've come to inspect this town? Can't say I'm interested. Yes. 
Getting everything back on track uh, won't be an easy track. I'd like to inquire about the fate of my colleague Isidore Barak. Uh, about the manner of his death, uh, to be precise. What are you implying? What is this manner you're talking about? Be so kind as to mind your own manners. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, don't, uh, don't they say Isidore was, um, ah, was murdered by step demon, by a step demon, a Shnock, uh, sh wait, Sean, Shabnock, Ador, Adder, uh, there was a thingy, uh, there was that thingy, a talon, they flat, uh, they fished out from the womb. I could take this from... I can take this right a demon. Why don't I uh, why didn't I think of of it straight away? It was so obvious I can't take the uh, I can take this from kids and weirdos, but you a respectable negotiant It's hard to believe uh, It's hard for you to believe isn't it? It used to be hard for many take my boy for example a scoffer. I've um Ever seen one and now even he believes it's real he can't, um, he went off his head a bit. Uh, you're in a step now. You're, you're in the step now, esteemed sir. Uh, Eastern and backwards, the dead rise from their graves. Here, clay dummies dance and bulls talk. Does he know the step well, that, uh, that son of yours? He rubs elbows with, uh, with the rabble, the butchers, the onda, okay, the odon, I don't, I don't know what that word is, shepherds and gatherers, learns their tongue, collects their legends, he doesn't keep them in check at all, they even dare to come visit him within the premises of the town, if you see a worm creeping through the streets, he's definitely looking for my son, um, What's wrong with them visiting him, uh, within the premises of the town? They're dangerous, they're aggressive, and they hate everyone who isn't a- a step person. They'll jump you and kill you on the spot. They'll tear you up with their teeth and devour your flesh while you're still throwing fist at them. So, if they're spotted within the town, counter measures are taken. Okay. So what of your son? Perhaps you could tell me more about this creature. Hold your horses. You want to talk to my blockhead? No, you have nothing to talk about. He's not here, thankfully. I don't want you two to meet. You hear me? These are tradesmen's words, uh, and I'll stick to them. I won't leave it at that. Yes, undoubtedly. I wrote on my journal. I, I don't know where though. A cunning lot, aren't they? The older um, Ogimski does his best to avoid any mention of his household. When I asked him what his son was doing, an honorable stock breeder momentarily lost his temper. I think the son knows just as much as the, as the father, and it will be easier to get him talking. But where can I find him? Hmm. Well, he literally told me that literally everyone knows knows about him, so maybe if I just talk to some strangers? What the fuck are you? What's that thing? Wait, stop. Mac. What are you? Okay. I will speak to this person then. Hey. Anything I do for you? Much obliged if you help me learn how to get around your town. Warehouses, district. No, thank you. Okay. So. Maybe I can ask someone else. Okay, it's already another hour. Okay, let's try asking Yulia, even though it seems like she's not gonna, like, nobody's gonna help me with information. I could try to see if he tells me, but let me see. Yes. 
Isidore came by to see you last night. Don't try to deny it. You think Simon died? I don't think he was murdered. How could he who cr uh, craved monarchy uh, not perish? He couldn't. Not in this place. Balance requires equilibrium. So Simon's course of action contradicted yours? So what are you saying? Is Simon's death worked in favor of the local hotshots, huh? Come on now. What I'm saying is, when someone takes too much upon themselves, they always end up ground down. That's how life works. Yet they say Simon was one was the one to bend the circumstances, not the other way around. No one seems to doubt that. Simon has lived a very long life, very long. He was a worthy man, but long, uh, long doesn't mean eternal, does it? No one is to blame for his death. Examine the body and you'll see for yourself. It just happened. Um, Cain won't let me examine the body. Well, that is temporary, a family tradition. He's not lying to you. He truly believes Simon was murdered. Um, were he to admit that Simon simply died of death, he'd probably go to his uh, last home himself. The shock would be too much for the man. That's strange. Gregory Cain didn't appear sentimental to me. Okay. So, I can't talk to... I don't even know where he is. If I talk to any of the strangers, they're not gonna help. Okay, so let's just head back. To Yolia, I guess, and then maybe I'll try somewhere else. I'm gonna maybe try talking to anybody else that I know of. Fuck. There's like, it's like, I don't know, honestly, I don't know if like, I'll be able to figure out who, this is weird, the whole design of this doesn't make sense, and I heard a baby laughing, so that's a little concerning, okay. Clother. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so, the only thing I can think of is, I guess, someone that we know would have to be the killer, right? So you've traveled all the way here, only f to find both people, okay. You like Eva? Very much, uh, wouldn't be much of a stretch to say I absolutely admired her. Yeah, same here. I'm afraid it's natural. Simon was doing. I know. I know that says while you complete a portrait of a killer, the killer is busy painting yours. 
hilarious is it not the hunter becomes the hunted however uh, to put it bluntly you have become the keynote of this particular plot the intrigue is so rich that it will uh, keep you busy for a week if not longer than that what would you do if you were me if you want my advice i won't trust what our fed uh feudals tell you the perpetual triangle of influence means that every party concerned will do their best to use the, your authority to their own benefit. I'm not that coincided. Perhaps people of lower standing would not try to use me? It is more likely that people of such standing will be much too scared to cooperate, given your position. You, st uh, you may want to try your luck with the shadow cabinet of local nobility, the woman of influence. They know much more than simple townsfolk, yet they care much less than family's power. Who are these lady uh, 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 aristocrats? Lady aristocrats. Such way of having it will be of relevance strictly within the specific context of values and perceptions, characteristic of of a backwoods hole like ours. The catch is that our aristocracy, uh, aristocracy, arist I don't know how to say that word properly. Aristocracy, aristocracy is not uh, defined by birthright here rather the status is granted by the degree of ig ignom uh, or sorry enigmatic fascination at a woman possessed of of questionable background um audacity of demeanor you know this whole assortment okay 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 do tell me who these uh, affluent ladies are Laura, Eva, yours truly, and last but not least, Maria. I wouldn't listen to Katerina if I were you. Her morphine habit has turned her into a walking corpse. The others, however... Hello? God. My headphones are acting up. Okay. The others, however, are like... Okay. I can't stand it. It's better to die than to lie. Can't say I care that uh, all that much. I can live with it. So, but it was the held Isidore's leash. A relationship rooted in unbreakable family loyalty. Make their next destination. So he's not going to talk much, but his brother will talk. She didn't fucking help me with any information. You're not fucking being helpful. Could you tell me about Laura? Now speak on... It's complicated. As you wish. Okay. I'm afraid it's natural. Simon was doomed. I'm a problem to you. As the mind endeavors to reach one. Okay. Well, she's not gonna help. So far, almost every character that I've talked to gives me no fucking information. Uh. So I. So. The lump. Family owners, fifty-year-old Valensky, its household called Vlad, heavy by the locals for his bad temper. So he has a bad temper. I'm gonna go talk to my new friend again. Turned out to be both well known and well informed. Yulia insists to consult her when I meet a dead end. Perfect! I have met a dead end completely. So I'm gonna go back, talk to every talk to her, figure out if there's anything I can do to try to find this wonderful individual, because we have definitely met a dead end. This is on purpose. Okay. This is what I was gonna do anyways. Cause, you know, she literally told me to come back to her to talk to her about stuff. So I will do so.
If I get any more spare water, I'll try to help out people. Where am I? Where the fuck am I? Here I am. Down, then right. Okay. That's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. So those things, we should open those when we get the chance. Okay. Yo, we got another bottle. So I guess... The, the time change or something? It's about to. In two seconds. There it is. The bell has rung once again. The time changes. I found out more about our morning visitors. They turned out to be runaways. Can you imagine? Runaway jail, bled, whatever. The Olympskis have closed the uh, termitary again, and those who have managed to escape from there are now being hunted. Capella told me all about this. Some of them have ran away and some went into hiding somewhere in town. And Capella is worried. Uh, what is she worried about? Capella and Vlad are the younger, um, are the younger, wait, sorry, and Vlad the younger are part, are, are pulls apart. Vlad's, uh, primary concern is that the interest of the family is, um, okay, so the sister is worried that the brother will kill the runaway. Um, she'd rather, um, have him survive the night and escape into the step. Um, where could the runaways be hiding? Uh, in a hot hospice uh, in Earth, okay, hospice in Earth, uh, well, hospice, hospice, ho hospice, is just a name, really. What are you planning to visit the place, then help them escape into the steppe before Vlad sends the mercenaries after them? Um, that would be a good deed. We've had enough murderers, haven't we? True, I'll see what I can do. I better speak to the of Vlad the Younger about this. Do you know where he lives? No. He'll probably try to hire you to do the killing, and that is no good. He is uh, so rich and clever. He'll think of something to persuade you. Send them to the step. Uh, uh, that will be better. Um, warn them about the danger. I'll tell you how to find Vlad if, uh, if you do that. Please. Fine, I'll do as you wish. Okay. Alright. So, I'm doing errands. A runaway butcher that, according to the rumors, is likely to be the meat eater or the man eater has found shelter here. I should interrogate the suspect before the eccentric king gets to him. Okay. A spitties. Hospice, hospice, hospice. Okay. That's very, very important information. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water here. And then I'm gonna make my way. Actually, I need to eat something. Oh my god, that instantly cleared it. Hopefully that food wasn't, like, worth more. Because that would not be good. These trash cans. Dog?
Oh no. God damn it. Invisible walls. Wasting my time on purpose. I can go into people's houses. <laughs> All of these houses I can go into and then get stuff in them, I guess. What the fuck was that? <laughs> this, this is all the way like, all the way over here. We have to go through air, like all these like, Fences and shit, so we actually need to go to this lower one Oh my god. Yeah, this fucking- okay. This game, I tell you. <laughs> the game forces you to go to a specific path. Anything I can do for you? <laughs> yeah, you have to like go this long ass way. All the way around. If you don't, then yeah. Tough shit. What's that? Don't look at me like that. I didn't do nothing. So this must be the building, huh? It looks a lot worse, you know, than in the pictures. Looks really not worth it. It looks fucked up. Alright, it's been another hour just trying to travel down to get to this guy. Before he gets moited. Take that. I don't even know what these are. I think they're lockpicks, but I, I don't know. What's going on over here? There's stuff over there. Okay. Hello? Hello? 
What the fuck? Do I not have like a light or anything? Hello? Why is the termitary so loud? What are they celebrating? Do you know where to find clean water around here? Fresh water must be plentiful in this place. There's a river close by. You're one of the locals. I'm visiting this place for the first time. And so, uh, and so I know where to find, uh, and so I know where to find water. I'm just curious if you do. What's wrong with, uh, the running water? All the water that comes from the step, and it isn't exactly clean. Yesterday I expected all the, the springs in the area. There seems to be no more clean water around. Um, that salty taste is everywhere. It's, um, it's reddish in color, and there are disgusting clots in it. Where can I find clean water then? The townsfolk store clean water in homemade reservoirs. Uh, this modest supply should be enough to help us for uh, last a little while, but afterwards we'll have to drink that bloody mixture. How disgusting. What's wrong with my eyes? What do you want, I wonder? There's a runaway hiding here. Uh, take me to him. Why would I? He's in danger. I'm here to help. He's a butcher. He won't talk to you. Um, you wouldn't understand him. He's been here for more than, uh, for more than a day. But even I can't get him to talk. It is who'd, uh, it is I who'd rather tell you something. What do you want to tell me? Big Vlad has plugged the, ter uh, termituary, or termitary, termitary, up for a reason. The butcher's mumbling is all over the place, but if you listen carefully, you'll make out tales of such horrors that I give that I get shivers all over. Thousands of people have lost their minds all at once there. Um, many have died. Something br is brewing inside. Can you lead the runaway out of town? Take me to the butcher. I'll interrogate him personally. Are you sure? Have you forgotten that he's crazed? You think that he'll communicate with you? Are you mis uh, you are mistaken? They are they aren't great talkers anyway. They can um they can only howl, growl, and bowl when um when they're under a spell. I can hold my own. Fine, then lead him out of uh, out of here yourself. I can hold my own. Go then. The butcher's in is in the hospice hospice hospice. The interest is at the other side of the house. Don't come back here complaining afterwards though. I'll deal with it. Okay. Version beast like fugitive. It seems that um that reciprocal hatred is not in Eva's heart. My soft mannered host wants to shelter a runaway uh, serf from the punishment that the authorities would meet out of him if he is caught. It would appear I am not the only person chasing a criminal tonight. I must be out of I must find out if the killer is hiding in the draw the DOS house at the opposite side of the building. The butcher must be uh right there now. Okay. I don't think I have a torch anymore. Hey, buddy. Hi, how are you? Do kindly tell me. You even understand me? Ow, fuck. I don't want to do this. Ow, fuck. Okay. Well. Well, shit. I haven't even been saving. <laughs> the moment when you realize you forgot you need to save. Um. <laughs> well, fuck. I wasn't even able to fill her fulfill her request. Uh, shit. Well, um. Can I load an auto save? No, there is no. 
Okay. Well, uh... I guess I have to live with my mistakes. Uh, fuck. I, I kind of want to restart just because I feel bad. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. Well, shit. Okay. I didn't realize I could fucking save. Ugh. We've done about two hours of this, so it's like, I already have done, like, all this shit. Like, all this fucking exposition. And I run into one guy, I didn't realize, like, oh, man. Well, I guess I'll live with my decisions. I guess I'll live with the fact that I'm a fucking killer. And I just murdered a insane person. Didn't know better. Uh. Shit. Um. Fuck. I, I, I kind of feel like that, I feel like that was on purpose. I feel like the game is trying to tell me something. It's like, I shouldn't have said anything or I should have said, like, even if I probably chose what the, he probably would have immediately attacked me. I maybe if I left the room and then came back, maybe things would be different. Maybe it would have been different, but I don't know if the game even considered that prop probability. I think no matter what I would have done, he would have attacked me on sight. Uh, I so I'm gonna have to go over there and tell her that um, I killed him. He attacked me, and I had to defend myself. So she's probably not going to be happy with me being not being able to, for some reason, you know, she's not going to be happy with me defending myself against a person and, you know, not realizing that I could have just not shot him and just walked out the door. But for, that didn't occur to me and my video game brain immediately said shoot him shoot him he's gonna fucking kill you shoot shoot him kill him <laughs> like what was i supposed to do what was i supposed to fucking do came right at me. The bell realized, reminding me that I am inevitably gonna die. <laughs> and all of my actions mean nothing. Oh, dude. I was playing- oh my god, my headphones are acting up. Hold on. There we go. Wait. It's raining now. Uh... The rain effects could have been done better. Uh, I could have that could have been improved with their never-ending enhancements. Where am I again? Oh, I'm 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 on my way. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
So I was playing Divinity Original Sin 2 with somebody yesterday night. And, uh, it was like, at first, I, as we were playing, it was like, oh, this is okay. Like, it's alright. But then we ran into a situation because of me that completely changed my, my mind on the game. Uh, so what happened was... What the hell is going on? Um, so what happened was, uh, I actually walked into this room, and it initiated a boss fight with somebody. And we basically tried to, like, we had no other option. So we literally barricaded ourselves inside a room. And then we basically fought back to back against people. And then we, just like in hopes that we'll, I don't know. I'm sorry for failing your request. I had a feeling you would come. My lacquer is cracking, see? So, what, does that mean my mission's over? Because I couldn't complete her mission. She won't talk to me anymore. So that means my... That means it's come to an end, basically, right? Or is there, like, another way that I can, like, do this? Because I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to do anything, I, I guess. And there's no way for me to know unless I completely do the entire game all over again. Ah, great. Okay. So, I'm gonna make a suggestion that I... Because I think I've completely fucked myself for this storyline. I assume the game can keep going just fine. But, for this, like, whole <laughs> portion here. So, the Saburovs have offered patronage to some changeling. <laughs> Who is she? I'd like to examine your brother's body. We have sent for Isidore's most accomplished apprentice. His name is Stans Stanislav Rubin. Quite a r resolute and talented man. This Rubin is... I have gave expectations of him. He will bring everything you, um, you need and you will examine the body together. Alright, let me know when Rubin... When this Rubin arrives. I would expect him to join you this in the evening, no earlier in 11 o'clock, I would say. Why so late? Personally, I asked him to come no later than midnight. <laughs> Don't let it worry you. Hmm. It seems you are not in too much of a hurry to ascertain the details of your brother's death. On several occasions, excessive haste has led to undesirable consequences. The phenomenon that Isidore had invited you here to study it in itself it is in in our blood okay it's quite intriguing Shinobi body will not help you in any way this puzzle has to be resolved within your mind i am not able to or even allowed to tell you any more than that i believe me i am not trying to conceal any evidence from you <clears throat> the body is kept in in the ice uh, house it is in act but focus may not be breached i will wait for the required period of time to pass i don't know what that is okay <clears throat> i feel like that's something that i don't i don't know i feel like i i could have done something with that other information had i not killed that guy which is something that I should have done, which was a other task that I've failed. Okay. Well, I have a better plan. Um, we'll come back to this on Wednesday. Uh, 
I want to go through the game again. I want to go through the uh, the whole game again, back to where we were, and then uh, we'll start from there. I'll make sure to not kill the dude. I'll, I'll save it and then just kind of like see if there if it if anything changes with all the different possible outcomes I could think of to deal with that situation because there is an answer I just don't know what it is my thoughts are either I chose the wrong answer or I needed to go talk to someone else Something like that, right? I needed to do something. So, I'll figure it out. Um, I had to do a lot of talking, so... <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, I guess uh, that'll be it for now. I guess. <laughs> What an interesting game so far. I don't know if, like, I'm doing anything wrong or if I'm doing anything right. Uh, I don't, I don't know. So. I don't, I don't know. Alright. Okay. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Uh, I will see you on Wednesday with some more of this game because I want to see what happens. And this seems like a fucking long-ass game. So...